Well, first came lunch, followed by supper. Rick Lyons' popular restaurants are a hit in the River City, and supper is being featured this Sunday on the Travel Channel show, Food Paradise. Rick's here today to share the recipe for crab imperial dip. Rick, it's great to see you again. Great to be here as well. Welcome back. Thank you. You uh, were with us before you were making crab cakes. Today we're making the um, crab imperial dip. This is a super popular yes. app for you guys. It's one of our most popular apps. It's um, something I've been making for about 25 years. It's just been the same standard every time and people do love it. They'll stand around the kitchen counter and just eat it until it's gone. That's right. Consistency is key, so that's a really cool thing. Start putting it together yep. for us, because this is actually pretty easy to do, even though it's... Yes, it's very simple. It's very easy to do. It's it's really just, you know, it's all about the cream cheese. The crab, um, of course, we use lump crab at the restaurant, but since you're making a dip, you could easily use backfin crab. It's not as expensive, mm -hmm. and it's going to get started in any house, so it doesn't really matter. Um, of course, you know, we made crab cakes before, the lump crab was the most important part. Yes. Um, so the jalapenos and the juice are very important because it gives it that little spike. I didn't even know that was in there. It's almost a secret oh, ingredient. Yeah. The uh, the juice from the jalapenos is also very important. It, it uh, makes it a little looser. So with that um, cheese Parmesan. and the cream cheese, this is a low-cal dish. This is a very low-cal <laughs> dish. Um, and it, it's also gluten-free, so you're, go you're good That's there. Good. You're, you're golden good there. there. So the easiest way to do this is to just put the ingredients together. It, the cream cheese is the, the binding of everything. So that's got to like, it's got to break down a little bit. So the easiest way to do this is to set your timer for 20 minutes, put it in the oven, go get ready for your party, whatever else you have to do. The timer goes off, you come back, it'll be all nice and gooey and movable and then they just put it all together and it's ready to go. Okay, so pretend we've used the magic oven. Yep, we've used the magic You're oven. You're going to do dough and then it kind of yep. comes out looking like that. And then it comes out. It comes out not exactly looking like this, but after you mix it, this is basically what you get. Mm -hmm. So all, everything is mixed in together. It's nice and gooey. It's warm, which is obviously the best way to serve it. Um, and then here, we have the way we serve it at the restaurant is with the flatbread and the um, pickled red onions. Mm -hmm. So you put it right in there. Put it right there, and that's exactly the way we serve it at the restaurant. Now, right. for the gluten-free people, um, and I like to mostly go gluten-free myself. You know, any kind of veggie is great for dipping. Heirloom carrots, um, the celery, the cucumbers, anything like that is perfect at home. Again, the crab dip is, just makes everything pretty much decadent. Mm -hmm. So um, any of that goes with it. So Rick, the lunch and supper right next to each other, and it's, we always say lunch and supper like it's one, they're right next to each other. Ha Travel Channel found you and they featured you. We've got some clips to show of you up to your elbows in the kitchen making one of the most popular dishes that was featured in the show, The Herd. Yes. Tell us about that one. Um, that was a labor of love for myself and my staff. I really wanted meatloaf on the menu. Um, we started out with a particular one and then I really wanted to change it up. So it's about 30 times over the recipe and we finally came down to, okay, this is it. This is what we're going to do. Um, uh, and it's, it's worked so far. So, um, uh, it's a very popular dish on the menu. The menu there at both lunch and supper, and I love that it's like no matter what time of day you get there, there's always something delicious and comfort food and something fantastic to enjoy. Um, it's, it is comfort food, but with a little twist. It's southern comfort food, but a little bit of a spin that kind of gives it that extra punch. A little bit punch. of spin, a little bit of difference. Um, uh, we try and do that with everything that we do. Put something on the edge. You know, the culinary world right now is blowing up with amazing things and you know the restaurant business is not any different you have to keep on that edge people want to see something different they want to see something new they want to see what you got going on so it's a constant battle of trying to like keep, keep coming up with different things well now they'll see you on travel channel you're featured as one of the eight best southern comfort food restaurants in the country that comes on on Sunday. That's a big deal. Yeah, Look, it's at always it. a wait anyway to get in there. <laughs> so <laughs> now we're going to have to like stand here at, at the station. Now you know who to call, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> These are really pretty, Rick. We still have about a minute left. Okay. You've taken this from how you serve it, a gluten-free option, yes. and then like a fancy option. And then when we cater, and these are great for home because they're pickup, they're easy. These are um, canapes, which you can buy at any grocery store. Just fill them with crab dip. I top them with capers. I top some with red onions. These are baby portobello mushrooms. Mushrooms, which are delicious. I put bacon on them just as a garnish. You know, you got to take it up a notch. Just as a garnish. Just as a garnish. You got <laughs> to take it up a notch. You always got to take it up. So these are all different ways you can serve this crab dip. Um, and they are, all of them are amazing. 
You are just, it's going to be so fantastic to be showcased this weekend. Are you ready? It, it was hard to get in before. Now imagine what it's going to be like. We're pretty excited. So yeah. uh, Rick's we'll like, have come to see what happens. <laughs> yeah. You'll find Rick's restaurants in Scott's Edition. We're neighbors over here. Both lunch and supper are right next door to each other. 1213 and 1215 Summit Avenue. We'll have a link on WTVR.com slash VTM to check out those menus. And don't miss supper being featured on the, as one of the eight best Southern comfort food places on Travel Channel show. Food Paradise. The episode airs Sunday, November 13th at 8. Be sure to catch